Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're going to be packaging up some small portions of food for long-term storage. This is another really simple task, but I have got some smaller sized items that I want to vacuum seal and get into longer term storage. I don't want these cluttering up our working pantry because I need space for all the stuff that we are eating right now. So these things I want to put into longer term storage, not forever, but longer term. And this is, a lot of this is just really small amounts, so there's not a whole lot that you have to do to it. But today I'm going to be packaging up some vegetable soups, some stevia, Florida crystals, some organic sugar, um, and dry, instant dry milk. So these vegetable soups are, you know, this is probably the easiest thing, or I don't know, they're all really easy. But these are um, just powdered soup. There's vegetable soup mix. There's some, you can feel a little bit of stuff in there. But these are not airtight. If you press on these, some of them, the air is seeping out from the seal. So we just want to get these airtight. They're going to last longer as long as there's not air in them. So air is definitely your enemy in food storage. So I'm going to take these and I want to get all that powdery stuff down to the bottom. Just kind of shake it down if you can. And then I'm going to put just a small slice in here, each one. Just a teeny slice to get the air out that is in there. We want to get that out of there. So, and then to start with, I'm going to be reusing some large bags that I made. So we're just going to make these long enough for the soups. And I can get a couple of bags out of here. So I'm just going to take these, because they're already packaged, I don't want to waste the packaging, it has the instructions on it. This makes it so easy. I'm just going to fold these over and stick them in the bag. And I'm going to put two in each thing because this, may, this serves about two people. So this will serve four and I can open as much as I need that way. I don't want to open up ones that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to serve, put two in each package so we've got that. And then I'm just going to vacuum seal this. And by folding the bag over, when you take this bag and you fold it over in the cuts up here, it's going to suck the air out but it's not going to pull the powder through because of this crease. So it won't mess with your vacuum sealing machine. So we're just going to vacuum seal this like we would anything else. Powders are difficult when they're suck when it's sucking the air out, a lot of powders are going to get sucked into your machine and it's going to clog up your machine eventually and destroy it. And you don't want that. Pay all that money for these machines. You definitely want to keep them in good condition. So we're just going to vac seal just like anything else. Okay, and my light's off, so this is done. I'm just gonna take this out and I'm gonna move it just a hair, a teeny, teeny bit, and we're gonna add a second seal to this. I have been having trouble with some of these bags not sealing properly, so adding a second seal I'm finding is uh, helping it hold way better. I haven't had any issues when I put a second seal on. So, and I don't know if it's new bags or what it is, but I just put two seals on there, and then this is all ready to go. You've got your instructions, everything is right here, so when you pull this out, you're ready to make some soup. You just gotta add water to these, which is nice. So we're gonna do this, yeah, the same thing for the next two. We just wanna make this bag long enough to get our soups in here. And these vacuum seal bags, if you've got big ones, I say I wash them out with um, 
with some nice hot soapy water and they do wonderful. So just going to stick those right in there. And we're going to do the same thing. So next I'm going to work on the sweetener packets and I keep stevia in the house because I have a family that are diabetic. I don't use it myself but it's nice if they come over and they want a cup of tea or a coffee or something. I like to have something that they can have. It's not going to make them sick or anything or, or hurt them in any way. So. I don't keep a lot of this in the house, but I do keep some. So, and with these little sweetener packets, I'm just gonna put these in a bag. And I do not, I don't label these bags at all, because you can see through them, you can see exactly what's in there. So I'm just gonna split these up in a couple bags. So when I open them, I don't have to open all of them at once. I can open one, um, if I can reseal it, great. If I can't, oh well, you know, it'll last. They're going to last anyway, but it, the, just getting these airtight is just going to extend their life more and keep bugs away from them. So I just put the packets in there, just kind of throw them in. You could definitely be more neat than me, but I'm going for efficiency. Not perfect. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Gotten past that a long time ago. As long as it works, that's what I'm concerned with. So again, I'm just going to vac seal it. I don't do anything to these packets besides stuffing them in the bag. That's all I'm doing to these, and that is just going to extend their life by keeping air out of them. I haven't had any of the stevia get chunky or anything. I have on the um, sugar. The natural sugar seems to get a little bit hard, but you know, in an emergency, if that's what we got, that's what we got. It's all measured out for you by half a teaspoon anyway. So just plop it in, it'll melt. Break it up if you want. And again, I'm just going to put a second seal on here. Just because I'm not sure, you know, my machine's a couple, uh, couple years old. But it's always worked really great. And these are newer bags that I started using this year. And they, they don't quite seal. Sometimes they have a little hole in the seal so I just like to give it that extra just in case and then these are ready to be stored and we're gonna do the exact same thing with these little organic sugars we're just gonna put some in a bag and I'm gonna make a few packets there's like a hundred packets in this box but it's nice to have these little things they're so handy to have around especially if you have someone that can't have artificial or they can't have certain things it, it's really nice to have and you know we get down to it I will definitely eat these babies now I'm just gonna do some of the powdered milk and I'm gonna do this the same way I did the vegetable soup because these are small packages I'm not gonna take them out of the package I don't like to waste anything I mean there's no sense splitting it all up and putting it in different packages. So I just, again, I just take the little slit so we can get as much air out as possible. And I'm gonna fold this. And when it comes out, I've got the Best Buy date on it. I've got all the instructions, the nutritional stuff. Everything is here still. So I like to leave it in the bag if I can. When I go for larger quantities, like flour and things like that, when you're buying 25, 50 pound bags of stuff, you're definitely going to want to split it up so you're opening small amounts at a time and that's when I use these bags and I will put as much as I want in this bag and then fold the top over and put that in a vacuum seal. Sometimes I tape it down, Some, if I have enough bag that it will stay, I will just fold it over and stick it in. But all these dry powdery things, that's really air is your enemy here and you want to keep it as long as possible so it's not wasted so again I'm just gonna put I think I'm gonna put what do we have okay I'm gonna put two, I'll put all these in here why not because these only make three quarts so when I bust this open I'm probably gonna need all of it within a pretty quick time anyway so and then the next box these usually come in three per box so you could put three in here, but 
I have an extra one from another box. We're just going to fold those down so those flaps stay. You just hold, pinch it while you're putting it in. And that'll do the trick. And if you can get them just on top of the other one, it's going to hold it. You can get this baby sealed up. So that is it. These are really easy and simple to store. You can write on the bags if you want and label them whatever you'd want to put on them. It, it's perfectly fine. I don't because everything's right on the package and this stuff is, you know, pre-packaged. You just, that little slit is going to help get the air out of the bag itself and then so everything can be stored well. And you can see on this one it started to, I've got a little bit of powder that leaked out from the back where I cut it. And there's a little teeny bit of powder seeping up. It will suck that powder, if you don't have it in a bag, it's going to suck that powder right up through. It's going to prevent it from sealing and it's going to clog up your machine. And these machines, these vacuum sealer machines are not cheap. So you want to keep them in good condition and I found that keep putting them in a bag or keeping them in their packaging with just a little air hole is the best way to keep that from happening. And it didn't happen on any of the other ones. They all came out really well. This is the only one when I flipped it over and I was trying to push it to get it in this bag and it a little bit seeped out on the side here so that you could see it started to suck it up towards the seal. And that's why you want to keep it in some sort of bag inside your vacuum bag. And I'm just going to take these and store them in buckets to keep the light out, to make sure they're sealed up, you know, and keep them organized so I know what is where. It helps me stay organized and I can find stuff because, God, I forget everything. But that's it. These are really easy to do and they will last and last like this. And anything powdery really is going to... Is this is going to be your best bet. Leave it in the packaging or if you have very large, if you're buying in bulk quantities of this stuff, put it in your own paper bag or whatever plastic bag with, so it can be contained inside. But that's it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.